Hey lovely people of the hospitality industry, this video addresses the main question I get from all the restaurant owners all the time and we're gonna get that covered in three, two, one, and here we go. Hello everybody, my name is Sham, uh, known in the community as the responsible restaurant owner and pretty much for the last 10 years I've been helping people run their restaurant, open it, design concept, food cost calculation, marketing, human resource, and uh, now I'm bringing it to the web. And uh, thank you for being part of the first people that are watching my series of video. And uh, this video is about the main question I get from everybody. Everybody is looking for the magic secret recipe, the one thing that's gonna help them move their life from the 17 hour day hustle to them actually having the lifestyle that they actually want. Some people think I'm gonna offer them suggest a POS system. Some people think I'm gonna suggest for them to do this and that, change their menu or whatnot. And do not get me wrong, those are all consideration. Those are tools, tools for you to be able to achieve pretty much the journey that you're actually getting yourself in or that you're already in. But the purpose of this video is to share with you something I noticed. The most competitive, successful restaurant owners and business people, and I have to say that I feel very blessed and lucky to have a chance to be in the Silicon Valley. I mean, I didn't have a chance to actually work in a different environment, but in the Silicon Valley, man, we just saw women, sorry, we're just getting surrounded by these brains. I mean, literally some of the biggest tech companies in the world were my clients, Google, Facebook, Yahoo, WhatsApp, Viber, you know, I mean, all these companies, maybe some of them that I'm mentioning may not be around for very long, Skype, I mean, Netflix, all these companies were hiring the best brains in the world to bring them to work in their headquarters. And those brains were my clients and, you know and by being in the restaurants and running a family style operations you know we i like people you know and this interaction with them and the excitement of being part of the restaurant industry the fun the glamour that so many restaurants owners fall for the thing that we work so hard for is to see our guests happy literally allowed me to get very close to these people and have a chance to get to know many of them on a personal basis. And I'm not going to drop any names, but those are people that are very successful at so many different levels. Money is just one part of them, but their interaction with the society, their participation in the community, how amazing parents they were, how amazing athletes they were. You know, it was just amazing. These multi-talented people that, yes, put the shoes of a techie or somebody who is, has amazing knowledge, but also have a fulfilled life. I mean, they were just so round and they were inspirations for me. And actually, I did not know what was going on, but you know, it's it just like they had this kind of a glow. And you know, you're gonna make fun of me, you're gonna say, oh, Sham, glow, man, you're falling into the spirituality path here. But yeah, I definitely wanna go with this channel and with you guys. Uh, my audience and you know and explore because you know it's all about exploration and we always do get excited as business owners as what may be the next great thing and this is one thing that I noticed the one common point that I noticed among all the successful people I had the chance to meet all the people that were successful that I followed read from listened to get myself educated I realize that they all have one common point, is that they have a practice. Now, what does it mean? What is this practice? Is it a sport? Is it a hobby? Whatever it is, but they had these things. You want to call them rituals? Uh, you want to call them practices? You want to call them prayers? You want to call them meditation? You want to call them art form? Whatever it is, but there was something that they did every day. Shine or rain, whether they were in holidays or at work, whether their business was booming or they were in full-blown crisis mode, you know, they, there is something that they used to do every day. And I questioned and I asked and interviewed quite a bit of them and I was asking, 
you know, why do you do this? You know, and everyone has a different answer, etc., etc. And I don't want to make this video too long about this topic because at the end, this is a channel, you know, to help restaurant owners. But you know, hey, sometimes we're going to talk about something that is not related just to the restaurant business, if it's okay with you. And the one common point that I found among all of them is that one single practice. And when I ask them, why do you do it? They said a very interesting keyword that you can find throughout all different traditions and practices, which is it helps them define their center. Now, what does this center mean? It means that that thing that they do every day with their meditation, with their running, with their walking, with their writing, that is the one constant that they have every single day. And every day when they go back and do that practice, that becomes a starting point and the return point. And I am not like a, a, here to do a motivational talk, etc., etc. I'm much more like of a, you know, feet on the ground, you know, like get in the trenches, get it done, and all the fun and excitement that's going to come with it. I mean, that's what I like, you know, and different people have different styles. But, you know, uh, I discovered that by having these little practices, you know, it really, really catapults, like projects, your ambition, your motivation, your health in so many different levels. Now, wanting to do it is not good enough. Most of the time, those people ask them, you know, so how come you were living a such a lifestyle and then one day you start having these practices, what is the secret? And, you know, they said, you know, uh, I was due. You know, that's the answer I hear from most of them is that, hey, I was due. I tried this different lifestyle, I tried different patterns that were not fulfilling. And suddenly, you know, I started researching, you know, I just did my due diligence by researching if there is any alternative methods that can help me have a better life. Because, you know, I was fulfilled financially, or I was fulfilled in my social life. But, you know, but there was something missing. And, you know, and you owe it to yourself to research what is this one missing thing that you can do to take you to the next level. And guess what? The good news is, my dear entrepreneur, it is not related to material substances, objects, material things that you can get. It's all from within. Now, you're going to tell me, Sham, well, this is all nice and fancy and dandy, but how does it apply to me? Where can I start if I really want to find out my practice? Should I start doing yoga? Should I read? Well, you can do whatever you want because <laughs> you are going to end up doing whatever you want no matter what. But a good starting point is, I want you to ask, and this is, you know, I do not have the ultimate truth, far away from that. I'm just like you, seeking progress, achievements, and hopefully building a community and learning from each other. So that's why, please comment, subscribe, you know, let's keep this pumping. And um, one thing that has been really working is, as a good starting point, is, do you know what your traditions are? You know, in this society where everybody is hyped up and we're getting bombarded by images of successful people and everything, you know, our ideas are actually being lost and diluted. And, you know, and I was very lucky to come from an environment where culture and tradition were very predominant. And, you know, when I started looking, I started there and I was lucky to have lots of available information for me that helped me guide me in this process. So I would like you to do the same, you know. Uh, is there something that your great, great, great father was doing or your great, great, great mother was doing? And you can tell me, Sean, man, I don't know. You know, but this is your quest. That's your journey to get closer to your truth, you know. And your truth may be completely different from the truth and everybody else. But guys, once you're going to find that tradition, that ritual, that practice, you know, and you can go all about being new age and trying all new methods. But I'm a big, I'm a kind of old school and I kind of a big believer in sticking to the basics, you know. And so a little bit more on that. One is definitely go ask about tradition. Ask your parents if they're still alive. Uh, and, uh, you know, and uh, ask your uncles, your family members, people that are pretty much blood related. You know, and they may be able to guide you, give you some signs or directions. Many of them are going to be like, man, I don't know, man. Themselves don't have any kind of practice. But that quest is worth it. Uh, do some research. Another tip that can be very helpful, most of the time, the tradition that will fit people the best, I mean, do not quote me on it, but that's my personal experience, is it is related to your native language. You know, so the tradition that were related to your native language. So that's about that for this video. You know, I don't want to go too long, but uh, this is just some question that I've been sharing and discussing with some personal friends of mine. 
And I thought that as an entrepreneur and as part of my community, I would love to bounce this idea by you and tell me what you think. I would love to know what your practice is, if you don't mind sharing it, and uh, you know, hopefully make lots of be people benefit from it. Uh, until we meet again, remember the secret ingredient is love, and uh, take care of each other, please. Bye-bye. Yes.